weekly conversation on matters of faith this morning. We're joined by Pastor Julius Bryant Jr. from Sweet Pilgrim Baptist Church. Sir, thank you so very much for stopping by this morning. So when we do the transition from the end of the Christmas season to the new year, I've always found that to be sort of an unusual transition. Some churches still have their church decorations or their Christmas decorations up. How do you make that transition from one season to another? Uh, I try not to make a transition per se. I try to keep that same spirit. Uh, Christmas brings about a spirit of love and caring and sharing. So I, I like to try to take that over into the next year. And your church has been for the last three years holding services at LaFleur High School because mm -hmm. Christmas is sort of a, a sad anniversary in a way because that was the day three years ago when those tornadoes came through and your sanctuary was pretty much destroyed. So we have an update uh, this morning. Where are you guys on the new sanctuary? Uh, we're uh, close to uh, going in. We'll be walking in on next month. Um, um, the parking lot is uh, the, the last portion of it right now. So as soon as they finish the parking lot, we can walk in and celebrate. And with that destruction, it's sort of been a, a tough time for your, your church. How, what have you learned in that time, those three years, that you've had to really hold services away from what was your home? Well, um, I guess uh, I would say some of the things that we've learned is uh, like um, having to not do, not have things uh, such as great sound. Uh, it made us put better sound into the church and, and those are just some of the physical things but spiritually so we, we've learned to come together a little bit more, a little bit better as a, as a group of people. What have been the challenges in that transition those three years where you've kind of been uh, in the wilderness as it were? Um, most of the challenges has been trying to keep the people together. Uh, it started off pretty hard. Um, there were Sundays that, you know, the, the, it looks like the sanctuary was kind of empty, the, the theater was kind of empty. Uh, and then eventually, you know, people began to come back. And, and so it, I believe the toughest short, um, problem we had was trying to keep the people together as a whole. And you're looking at having people in the new church mid-January at this point? Yes, sir. Switching back to the, the season this time of year, how do you keep people going and keep that momentum going from the joyous time of year to Christmas to, you know, l less of a focus on Christmas? Well, it's, it's certainly a focus year-round, but how do you keep that momentum going? Well, I try to keep the momentum going by um, introducing what I feel the Spirit of God is maybe speaking to me about the next year year. Um, I try to see it as an opportunity, um, uh, present the new year as an opportunity to have a better year. Uh, we've all had some, you know, personal tests and trials and some issues in our own personal lives. And then we had um, issues as a church body together throughout the year. So I present it as a, a, a new year, a, a time of uh, uh, opportunity to just take this opportunity to, to really just go out and and you know seize the moment and, and the things that God has uh, in store for us. And other religious uh, sanctuaries were affected by those tornadoes three years ago. Any advice you got from them or any advice you have for uh, folks that may have been affected by these recent string of storms we had just this past week? Uh, well yeah we had a lot of we had a lot of other church bodies calling a lot of pastors who called. We had some who were very um, uh, giving with their donations and um, one in particular, I don't know if he wants me to call his name, but I'll call out that Jewish church synagogue on Spring Hill Avenue. They were very uh, gracious to us in their donations and, and he's even called me on a couple times and we, we're planning on doing something the other later on. So, What do you think uh, for the most part in general people should take away from the Christmas season in general? In general they should take away that the true gift is Jesus Christ. It's not about, you know, what we put under the tree. It's not about how much you give or how much you receive, actually, because I'm one that's a giver. I believe in giving more than receiving. It blank brings me more joy, more pleasure to give and see other people smile. But the true gift is the gift of Jesus Christ. Pastor Julius Bryan said, thank you so very much for joining us this morning on this edition of Faith Time. News 5 this morning will continue after the break.